Hey, the Kong is coming along. I've attached the legs. I am, however, going to wait and attach the feet later. First of all, I hate doing hands and feet. They're the worst. But also, it's actually, in this case, for good reason. When I put the stand, when I put it on a stand, I'll attach the feet and the hands at that point due to... It's pretty cool though, huh? My comb. Lightweight. But you can see I've added the legs now. It's looking pretty neato. But as I started to say, the hands, when I add the hands to it, that means the piece will be elevated about this far off the ground. Uh, the long, I want the length of the front arms to be proportional to the, the relative short length of the rear legs. And I'll also be able to give the, the posture that I want them to be in. This is still the understructure phase, under the under the undercarriage, the frame of it, um, and I can give it the final position I want to put him in. Probably a defensive type posture, I would imagine, because at some point, if I have the energy and the wherewithal, which I probably will once this piece is done, I'm I'm getting back into practical sculpture again, and it's pretty. It's pretty satisfying. But he'll be in more or less this position right here, I assume. Well, I imagine. I mean, I'm the guy who's sculpting it. But he's going to be in a defensive posture, attacking a uh, Afrovenator or some kind of theropod Tyrannosaurus type animal. So this is pretty pro probably going to be a two piece, uh, I would imagine. But I'm going to work on the arms, I mean the legs, determine where the feet are going to be, how they're going to be positioned. You can see the size of it. It's, it's far enough along now where uh, you can see pretty much what the piece is going to look like when it's finished. You know, minus, right now it's minus the skin, minus the fur, and then the paint. I got to put, I have to put the dentition in here still yet. That means I'll probably open the mouth a little wider. I'll do the other side to show you what I mean. I really kind of wanted to square his jaw off a little bit more. Like this. All pretty much just masking tape at this point. Pretty neat. I'm pretty happy. I didn't think I could do this stuff anymore. I kind of kind of given up on on this sort of thing. I, I, I guess because I've gotten used to doing digital. But I kind of knew. I kind of knew practical sculpture was still beckoning. I would started dreaming about it actually. Uh, having dreams about doing more hands-on type work. And when my brain starts giving me messages like that, it's uh, very, very hard for me not to heed its, it's, uh, its call. But there you can see I've bulked his mandible up a little bit now. Look. Here's my kitty with the comb. What do you think of that, Alvy? Huh? He's going to kick your ass. What do you think of that? Did you help? 